Hey, good day. Welcome to my channel. Formerly Alex Trinidad Hunting and Outdoor Channel. I think we're gonna do a name of on the channel. We're gonna do Fish Hunt Dive TT. So we're covering almost everything that we do. We you know, fish, we hunt, we dive. In between my dollar hike, my dollar trail through the bushes. Everything outdoors basically. We try to cover bomb. Um, we're trying to do the fish hunt dive logo. We're working on a new logo, so probably I can get some jerseys printed for myself and the crew. Me, Matthew, Mark, whoever else is in the crew, we go have some jerseys printed out. Um in the video here we are actually doing a cook with some muck or mussels. We went diving. As you can see, I have a sort of diving gear lying around all around the house there. We got some muck from a dive we made so i just doing a quick catch and cook video as to what's going on so i have the cold pot out there and we're about to light it up and there you see me using the one match method learned it from my old guy and his friend how do you light coals with just one match right so Something that's been done since the days of the caveman. Let me see if we get it with one light, one strike of the match. There you have it. One match, one light. Match is still lighting. And aha, there we go. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. One match lighting an entire pot of pools. So we'll get back to you. When the cooking starts, in a few minutes. Right, so we got the fire going here. Everything's on, grill is on. We're gonna put on eight muck that I actually pulled out on the fire. Can't tell you exactly where I pulled it out. Because if I do, this is Trinidad. we will have more man than muck in that spot. So that will be the extinction of the muck or the mussels as you, you all know it internationally. <clears throat> so yeah, me and Matthew actually we did some diving, just got those, just to cook. We'll be doing some um, charters, we're in the process right now of acquiring a new boat to do a little fishing, a little hunting, diving. And we'll be doing some charters in between. So if anybody's interested and wants to join in, you could just message me, comment below. When we start to post the videos with the charters, we want to like to go out. Wouldn't be out too far because the boat is not that big. But I mean, you'll see it what we're doing, and you could always tag along in the adventure. All right, so there we have it. It's on the fire, I'm starting to cook. This is one of the best way to start eating muck, to enjoy muck. Let's see how it goes. Right, so they're on there cooking. If you look carefully, you can actually see the shells are open. They're actually cooking in their own juices. This is probably one of the best way to naturally enjoy the taste of muck. It's a very clammy, salty, savory taste. If you're eating muck for the first time, I advise this is the way to start it, to enjoy the taste. You can add in your sauces and stuff later on. I'll, you know, a little fish sauce or a little bit of coconut sauce or something like that. To me, this is the purest and simplest way to enjoy muck. If you're a lover of seafood, you'll enjoy this. So, but yeah, back to the channel. We're doing some upgrades on the channel. We want to increase the viewer content. Um, if you're watching this video, please do subscribe and like the video. Um, all that does is actually just updates you when we have a new video. Subscribe so you can see when we post up new videos, it will come directly to you doesn't cost you anything I'm not making any money from this in any way YouTube isn't paying me anything I just do it for the fun of actually doing it I want to share the experience with you so probably you might be encouraged to go outdoors have a lot of fun yourself enjoy life so oh an update on the channel so far um the shooting part of it I went to the um the shows there was the Adventure Sport Academy one and the Bullseye Rifle Association one the Adventure Sport Academy, I placed first, so the practice was worth it. I'll show you the gold medal in a later video. And the Bullseye Rifle, I placed second, silver medal. 
Hello, little cousin who went with me, Joshi. He plays fourth with my gun. He's been practicing with me as well. So, overall, we did pretty okay. I mean, there were 60 to 80 competitors or something like that. So, we did cool. But, um, that's what's going on with us so far. So, stay tuned. We'll do the um, cleaning of the mug just now. And, the taste us. When the is done, when the shell okay, so there you have it. We're taking them off the fire. You know what they're done when the shell outside sounds a little crumbly when you tap it, it sounds hollow, it starts to break right apart. Thing. The bubbling has stopped. Take them off carefully, and the shell is supposed to be very easy to separate like that. It will be extremely hot, nice and red. Separate them, and they will have separate the muck inside. And then hold them sometimes it's still attached to the very soft, very the bottom half of the shell. You just need to take a knife and separate it. The abductor more solid. You just need to just need to cut it. Pull the it apart. Yep. And there you have it. Uh, we still have a little bit of shell stuck on them, so you just need to take that off. Quickly done. Um, that's basically it. Okay. Your mock is done. It's a simple cleaning process, but though there's a little bit of um, sand in some of them sometimes. See, the ones we pulled didn't really have sand, but red color. still we remove that sandbag. So we do that in a few minutes, so we take it inside. We're gonna remove the sandbag, give it a little wash. In case you don't see exactly how it is. Right, so cleaning them, very simple. There's just a piece of connecting tissue that actually sticks onto the rock or to the pile there. You see it there, it's a little fuzzy piece. You just take your knife, remove that piece, cut it out there. And that's garbage. Right, and now there might be still a little bit of shell remain on the muck itself. You just cut that away. Remember, the shell got very brittle and broke apart, so some pieces might still stick to it, depending on, on the piece. Just remove it, clean it off, so we're going to be chewing on shell. <clears throat> and if you look carefully, there's a little bulge on top there, where the sandbag is normally. It's directly to the top. Slight little bulge. Just need to remove that piece, just make an incision into it. Cut away the entire piece, you'll see some black stuff inside there. You just remove as much as possible. Peel it away. Inside you'll see the little black. You just cut away into that. And basically give it a little real rinse after. And that is your muck already prepared. Just to cut up. You could decide if you want to cook it after with a different sauce or a dip. Me, I just eat a lot just enjoy eating it just like that. It tastes is really nice, just so. <clears throat> Let's do our next one to make sure you know. Remove the little attachment that goes to the pile or the rock that it's on there. Cut that out. Throw it away. Look for the little sandbag. And just remove the sandbag. So, <clears throat> that's about it. If you like the videos, please make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video itself you'll be seeing more and more content from us i think our next trip we might go in, be going to this beach um in bon citrus la michelle there's a mud volcano down there as well i hear it's really nice so hopefully i'll post some pics i'll uh, probably a small video going there with the family so stay tuned for that one later on coming up we'll be doing some fishing trips as well right so we have the muck already clean there you just cut it up into little portions and taste tasted amazing though alright see so you all enjoy <laughs>